All right, well, so when you go grocery shopping, do you check for trans fats? They can sneak up on you. Chef Gerard Viverito from passionfish.org joins us. Uh, good morning, good Chef morning. G. And you're here to talk about our, our grocery cart, what we can do to avoid these trans fats. And what are they, first of all? Trans fats are fats that are generally uh, partially hydrogenated, and it's done through a heat process and sometimes chemical, and they stay trapped in your body. They cause mm. inflammation. They could lead towards uh, brain issues and heart issues and... Just oh, overall, sounds terrible. Med, bad health. So, and they're sneaky because the government just made a rule. They've got three years to pull trans fats out of our foods. Yet, as long as it's under half a gram per serving, they can say zero trans fats. So, I brought a few items today. You can find these in anyone's you, cupboard, in anyone. pretty much. Here's a perfect one. People love fries, and what's so easy? Sure. This says zero grams of trans fat. When you look here on the ingredients, it says partially hydrogenated oil. Oh. So, I recommend buy a potato. Cook it for a little while, chop it up, fry it off in oil. An oil that you'll see in a lot of the, all these common ingredients today is this one. It's called uh, sustainable Malaysian palm oil. Okay. It's this beautiful red oil. It's got a high smoke point. It's naturally trans fat free. It's high in tocotrienol. It's great for brain health. Other things, kids love to go after the colorful cereals. Sure. This one even says it's got you know fiber. It's whole grain. It's you know they've got certifications <laughs> everywhere. Sure enough, trans fats. How about we go back to the good old days? Yeah. A little grass-fed milk yogurt with right. some whole grains like oats. Mm -hmm. That's great for breaking down cholesterol. We're all guilty of loving popcorn. Love we sit popcorn. in front of the movies these days, binge, <laughs> binge watching Netflix or whatever we watch. This one's got everything. It's got the Weight Watchers points, the 94% Fat free so don't and be fooled free. by these labels. But turn it around, and it's all the first ingredient is is corn, and the second one's trans fats. Uh -oh. Once again, buy some organic corn mm -hmm. kernels. Cook them off in palm oil. You can find oil, this coconut. oil in, in the regular yeah, oil. Yeah, right, in the, right next to the olive oil. It's it's amazing. I actually cook mine in coconut oil. Love it, yeah, and it, it tastes. And it gives you that little extra. And this way, you maybe flavor. back off on the salt or anything else because mm -hmm. it already has some flavor. Peanut butter. Peanut is not butter. Good. Everybody. Well, it depends on what's in it. When your first ingredient is peanuts, and your yeah. other one is fully hydrogenated vegetable oil, and then partially hydrogenated. Why? So what do we do now? Choose one that just says peanuts. peanuts. <laughs> You know, and this one says peanuts, agave syrup, and peanut oil because it's more of a spread, earth balance. Um, and then, so how do we, this is a beautiful how meal, about, by the maybe way. Maybe we come back to just natural, yeah. omega-3s. We are so deficient. We're sardines. So, sardines, mackerels, anchovies. Everyone okay. always says, ew, yeah. I don't like those. I'm like, when's the last time you had them? Well, I haven't, but I just heard they're right. not good. Chef G, we got to go, but this is a beautiful meal, and uh, it looks like it's, is it salmon? We're going to put this that is recipe. It, yeah, this is a, a little Alaskan grilled salmon. It's over some quinoa, nice super grain, some pea puree, so we have the this nice kind Easter of meal. colors going oh, no. on. It's beautiful, and it's tasty. We're going to put the recipe on our website, kshb.com. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having Ways us. Ways to do these little makeovers so that you avoid trans fats. Richard?